so that's just how you do it do it subtly don't fight because if you try to fight you ain't gonna win that war baby hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're just seeing me for the first time you are welcome my name is Kuseme Ise I'm here I share insights on education career advancement and personal development I am also introducing lifestyle and everything fun into this channel if you're yet to subscribe to my channel you know what to do right now like you don't want to miss all the exciting things in this channel please do well subscribe to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber you know how much I love you mm. So earlier in the week, I put out a video that people should ask questions about my channel, about getting to know me, career, and anything at all they would like me to respond to. I got a couple of really interesting questions. I can't even wait to start answering these questions. Guys, you need to stay tuned because there is so much to learn from each of these questions. go straight into answering the questions um would you like to know me all right so my name is kuseme Ise. i am a lawyer i was called to the nigerian bar in 2017. i am passionate about peace and conflict resolution as well as sharing insights on this youtube channel so that i could help people like you to navigate the course of your life because guys knowledge is power so what i do on this channel is to share knowledge on education career advancement personal development whatsoever you would like to learn i'm sure that each and every one of my videos are worth learning from so guys now that you know who i am now that you know what this channel is about you need to stay tuned because i'm going to be bringing story time lifestyle videos vlogging like oh my god i can't even wait that's why i'm so excited see how i'm blushing okay guys i think we should, we'll just go straight into answering the questions so that i won't waste any more of your time okay so palmer asks why did you leave external legal practice i want to believe what he means by external legal, legal practice is active law firm practice palma i haven't left legal practice i still practice law although as an in-house counsel i don't get to represent clients in court i'm not a litigation lawyer but i help clients also resolve their disputes amicably so yes palma i'm still practicing but i am not a litigation lawyer i had a law firm experience actually in 2018 where i was actively involved in litigation but i found out that it wasn't giving me fulfillment because i wasn't satisfied with all the technicalities and adjournments in the nigerian court so baby girl gotta move baby girl just gotta move man there's so much to do with my time i can't be wasting my time in courtroom when i can help you resolve your disputes out of court grace bassi asked what line of career development will you be streaming on your channel okay i am a lawyer but um, my career development tips and insights on this channel cuts across all sectors all career sectors it, there are tips that you can implement in any sector and it will help you so guys there is no restriction there is no limitation come up here no matter what profession you are you would absolutely benefit from this channel so stay tuned so this question came as a voice note and she wants to remain anonymous so I'm just going to paraphrase the question. So she is doing her NYSC, National Youth Service Corps, in an organization, and she would like to be retained in that organization because she's interested in learning and acquiring more knowledge in that industry. But the thing is that the challenge is that her bosses are making sexual advances towards her, and it seems like they're not going to retain her except she gives into their sexual advances. She doesn't have any other job for now, and she asked for my advice i feel like you already know my answer to this question go nobody and i repeat nobody should pressure you into going into any sexual relationship that you did not consciously or willingly enter do not even try it by the time you get a job through sexual affiliations you'll be rest assured that you're going to continue in that sexual activity just to keep that job just to get the promotions that you deserve the same thing you did to get that job is the same thing you would do to keep it and i don't think you want that and i really condemn attitude of employers who victimize people and subject young girls young girls for christ's sake into having sexual relations with you there are so many people out there that are willing to have sexual relations with you without strings attached or without having necessarily to come and work with you if someone is qualified if someone has all the qualification that suits that job it is either you offer the job or you let her go so to anonymous do not take that job if you know that 
you're not going to get that job except you give in to sexual advances walk away there are so many other opportunities out there fine you may not get it immediately but just keep trying fine maybe you haven't finished serving for now but our advice is to start sending out your applications to organizations that you are interested in organizations that have similar practice as the one that you're currently in send out your applications you may not get the job immediately but be rest assured that because you're standing for for the right course you will get something don't give in to these sexual advances because if you do that these employers that your boss will keep doing it to other people you better teach him a lesson walk away baby don't worry you'll be fine salome asked what or who drives slash inspires you to do more and become a better version of yourself what drives me the fact that i want to make an impact in the world the fact that i want to touch lives i want to bring solutions to people's problems is what drives me it moves me to want to acquire more knowledge to want to achieve more because if i don't have enough knowledge there's nothing to pass on to the next person or there's nothing to pass on to you listening to me right now you cannot give what you don't have so my motivation my inspiration my drive comes from the fact that i want to make my media community a better place and to do that i must keep moving i must keep going forward so that i will help people around me that's what drives me now let me ask two questions the second one is for all those who are afraid of stepping out to become all that god has designed for them to be maybe because of some circumstances or experiences they have had what is your advice for them okay so i understand the fact that sometimes we go through stuff in life that make us withdraw for instance if you used to be very expressive when you were a kid and every time you wanted to be expressive someone keeps shutting you down it will come to a point that you withdraw you get back into your shell and you won't want to do the things you want to do anymore maybe you're intimidated you feel inferior i totally understand the fact that there are so many things in life that can make you feel the way you feel or that can make you not want to push anymore but you know what you can't keep you can't keep staying like that if you want to grow you have to learn to move forward the thing is you're not going to achieve everything you want at the same time but just make a commitment that I want to start growing i want to move from where i am to where i ought to be i want to leave my comfort zone and do one thing every day that will lead you to that goal just one thing i'm not saying do everything okay identify one thing that will lead you to achieving the goals or your goals and your dreams and aspirations in life you should be your very first motivation if you're looking for motivation outside you may not really get it so it starts from you making a commitment to yourself that today i promise to move ahead in life i refuse to stay in one place i refuse to dwell in my past for so long because in future you're going to look back and regret the fact that you wasted so much time thinking about your past when you would have moved forward to achieve lots of stuff in your life i totally understand that you may have had circumstances that affected you and made you not want to go forward or achieve your goals but you know what i think it's time to heal i think it's time to take a step one step at a time and you will definitely get there. Ilika Naokim asks, she actually asked this question for others going through this challenge. How do you wriggle your way out of a career path your parents forced on you? Example, you wanted to be a musician and your parents forced a legal career on you. Wow. So what I'm going to advise you is that you can't fight your parents. We are Africans and we know that you can't fight your family. You will not win that war. <laughs> Calm down. You won't win the war. So how are you going to do it? As an advocate for peace and conflict resolution, this is my candid advice for you. Take a subtle way, you know. They want you to be a lawyer. It's fine because they are paying your bills. Go to school. Get the best grades. Come out. If they want you to practice active law practice, please, if you're still under their roof, by all means do that but you know what if you're passionate about something you will always create time for it what do you do with your free times go and sharpen your skills around your passion around your interest keep sharpening your skill over time and when you begin to be good at it you do it as though it's a side hustle as though it's a hobby so you're interested in music after you go to court and come back after you're you're, you're done at the law firm and come back why don't you enroll in music classes weekend music classes you you start maybe you you register with a, a studio where you can start writing and recording songs just to sharpen your skill and do it as a hobby don't make it look like it's another career that is coming forth no no no, no don't do that just act as though you just you're a lawyer but you're passionate about music i'm a lawyer but i'm passionate about sharing knowledge so this is what i'm doing right now and i do this 
during my off time during when i'm not working during weekends so just do it like that okay don't do as if you want to throw away your career and you know what before you know it you will gradually and subtly just move into the career of your choice why am i saying this this is because when you already become the lawyer that your parents want they are satisfied you've given them what they wanted and now they know that oh my son is a lawyer my daughter is a lawyer but she is also passionate about music so she goes to music classes and you know sharpens her music skills when you become good at that skill and you begin to sing and you, people begin to know how good you are and you begin to earn money from it <laughs> they are not going to disturb you trust me they're not going to bother you check how far is the bad guy his father is a senior advocate of nigeria but you know what because he knows music because his music is selling he has become a celebrity because of music his father cannot tell him hey i'll stop singing but you know what he first became a lawyer so that's just how you do it do it subtly don't fight because if you try to fight you aren't gonna win that war baby this anonymous is asking me when are you getting married hello anonymous i am definitely going to get married when my husband finds me the bible says that he who finds a wife find it a good thing and obtain a favor from the lord so when my husband finds me and obtains favor from the Lord, I am going to marry at the appointed time. A Kemenise asks, for an average student, what are those little things we might take for granted while in school that really matters after graduation? There are so many things we take for granted when we're in school, but I'm not going to start outlining all of them right now. I'll just limit it. I'll just narrow it to three. So I think it's internships, volunteering, and leadership roles. These are very important, especially when you come out to the labor market. People want to see that you are able to demonstrate leadership capacity. And if you're a fresh graduate, sorry, my pencil just fell. If you're a fresh graduate, you could only have demonstrated leadership capacity when you were in the university. So don't take that student union activity lightly. Don't take that chamber activity lightly. That little position that you are you are heading as a class representative, course representative, hostel rep, don't take it for granted. It is what is going to prove your leadership capacity out there. To be a leader, it means that you're leading people to a particular destination. And in your way, you will definitely face obstacles and you will have to surmount those obstacles solve problems of people and lead them to that destination. So when you're able to demonstrate leadership capacity, especially when you were in the university, you will get ahead of other people who didn't have this experience. The next thing is internships. Internships is you getting work experience. Sometimes you may not be paid for it. When you, you had internship experiences when you were in the university, when you come out, the work environment is not so new to you. You're already familiar to it and you will ease in them very easily other than someone that didn't have an internship experience and perhaps employers prefer graduates that had prior internship experience because they feel like it's not going to be such a big deal to trans or to ease into the work environment so internships are very important the next one is volunteering activities volunteer roles volunteering is when you work for someone when you work for an organization without getting paid for it it's like you giving back to the society you helping people ex execute tasks without necessarily expecting pay so most international organizations really um, prefer people that that are passionate about volunteering because it means you're passionate about solving problems in the society and you definitely want to give back so it is important that you take up volunteer roles while in the university you take up internship while you're in the university during your breaks during your holidays and take up leadership roles this way it's to build you up and to make you really a very viable candidate when you come out either for job employment or postgraduate studies or career advancement of your choice victor george asked how do you keep a girl you love oh <laughs> oh my god how do you keep a girl you love oh okay so i'm going to say that first of all before you start thinking of how to keep a girl that you love you need to identify if the girl at least has a likeness for you you can't force love so if someone doesn't like you you don't need to force it because no matter what you do you're going to be frustrated so moving forward if you know that she has at least a little likeness for you and you love her so much and you want to keep her please try to identify her love language 
um in one of my videos i talked about the book the five love languages by gary chapman i think you should go look at that video there is a link to purchasing that book in case you haven't read that book when you are able to identify her love language and you love her in that way you love her you show her love in her love language you're definitely going to keep her because you are loving her in the way she wants to be loved that's how to keep a girl okay victor asks a, a, a second question how do you develop self-confidence wow i know that so many of us have self-confidence issues and that is fine you are not alone we are all in this together but the thing is that as we grow up in life we need to learn how to develop self-confidence how to have self-esteem and believe in ourselves lots of us have this um, imposter syndrome feeling like we are frauds and we're not good enough and all that but you know what the thing is you just have to decide that you are who god says you are you are wonderfully and beautifully made you are the apple of his eyes like you are his first fruit you are joint heads with christ so you have direct access to your creator so you are not inferior to any other being he created you to dominate the earth, to multiply, to replenish. So he has given you all the advantages that every other person on earth has. So you are not inferior to the other person. Begin to know who you are in Christ. Begin to know your identity in Christ. That way, you will begin to build self-confidence. Also, consciously decide to engage in personal development activities. Like I said, this channel is for career advancement, education, and personal development. Come to this channel and watch videos and learn insights. Get into activities that will help develop your personal life. That way, develop your mindset, develop the way you think, the way you see yourself and all of that. So that is how you develop self-confidence. And you know, you're not going to get 100% self-confidence immediately you start, but it's over time, you know, like I said, one step at a time and you will get there guys i hope you're learning from this video i hope you're learning something if you have any question you can still drop it in the comment section and i would answer it later also if you would like me to do a video on any other topic you want me to talk about go ahead man i'm here for you i'm here for you you are my reason for being here so go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section your suggestion your video suggestion and i will do well to make that video just for you so let's move on joshua asked considering the country we are in and the economic situation occasioned by covid19 what advice would you give to those that have been affected either by loss of jobs or those finding it difficult to strive in this period i feel like everyone has been affected one way or the other um from the covid19 pandemic and the thing is we just have to move on with our lives if you've lost your job it's quite a pity but it's not the end a lot of people are probably in your shoes also but i think what you should do is where you are right now what do you need to get to where you want to be the kind of jobs that you want to have what is the skill that you need to get there so with the little resources that you have try to develop yourself try to get the skills that are needed and then the covid 19 has shown us that there are so many things that could be done without naturally leaving our houses or something and there are so many skills that are needed to, uh, in this period digital marketing tech skills like that so look for any skill that you know that is relevant in this era and learn develop yourself and before you know it also keep applying to other other organizations and definitely something will come up also be willing to volunteer for organizations be willing to work for free the thing is when you volunteer you're trying to show them your capacity and in no time when they see the value that you bring to the table they will definitely offer you something if you volunteer for like two three organizations one would definitely offer you a full-time job also take up internships there are online internships everywhere and there are also office internships so explore and seek out these internships that you can you can take up and before you know it when you find when your hands find something to do you will definitely prosper you will definitely get what you want in the process of doing the little that you have for businesses that has been affected by covid 19 please you need to adapt to the changing situations you know that most businesses are going online now so if you were operating solely offline and you know that you're not getting your customers again i think it's time to move online it's time to adapt to the changing situation don't worry guys everything will be fine like we are all in this together and before you know it we will all be fine just take it easy on yourself don't be too hard on yourself and just 
do the best that you can try to develop yourself try to learn the skills that you can you can start a business you can start an online training anything at all just to keep you going and make you a better person okay don't worry very soon COVID-19 will be an old story so Frederick asks how do you maintain work-life balance I'm sure that so many of us always have that question in mind but the thing is at every stage of your career some part of your life is going to suffer examples if you're, if you're just starting your career probably your social life or your family life is going to suffer you need to learn how to manage and apportion time to different areas of your priority definitely your work is going to take the majority part of your time but when you're not working during holidays during weekends try to apportion time to any other thing that you're interested in i love to work out so most times i work out on weekends other times if i can in the evening when i'm back from work i do that too and you know you have to create time another thing that i do that helps me is i try to have fun while i'm working i make friends in the office i build valuable relationships so we have valuable communication in in, in the office and as i work i feel like i'm having fun because i know that i don't have all the time in the world to when i'm done working i don't go out or something no but while i'm at work i try to have fun so guys manage your time to suit the different areas of your interest and know that as you grow up in life your priorities and your interests will change and you have to restructure your time and all that it's all about time management and prioritizing hey the last question i feel like i've been on hot seat jesus i'm free <laughs> I hope I have been able to answer your questions reasonably and you're taking something out of this video. If you're learning something, give this video a thumbs up definitely and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're yet to do so because there are so many exciting things I have for you in this channel ranging from postgraduate application to application for funding. Those that are going to go for uh, graduate school, you need to really stay hooked to this channel. If you need funding, opportunities, scholarships, everything, lifestyle, vlog, story time, so much, so much coming to you on this channel. So, so the last question is from Virtual. She said, will you be featuring other people on the channel? Like you read my mind. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm going to be featuring scholars on this channel. Like I have lots of friends that have won amazing scholarships. I'm going to be featuring them on this channel so you can learn from them and lots of other personal development coaches. Oh my God, there is so much to come. Guys, I'm so glad you stayed to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. And I hope you've subscribed to this channel. If you get to do that, come on now. Come on. Subscribe to this channel while learning from my videos. And don't, don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Let's know if you have any questions in the comment section. Also share this video to people you know that this video will help. Like, come your way in my next video. Bye for now. So if you're yet subscribed to this channel, you're missing so much already so you should not miss anymore get to subscribe to this channel and learn from all the insights i share on this channel are we going are we going we're going 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 gone